My name is Gavin Stevens, and I'm here tonight because I'm going to sing the national anthem of the United States of America. Hi, my name is Danube Hermosillo, and I'm here presenting an award to Sparsh Shaw, the amazing 13-year-old prodigy who is a singer, songwriter, rapper, who I'm a complete fan of, and I'm so excited to see his performance today and to celebrate all of his accomplishments and for other people to hear about his amazing journey and be inspired. My name is Sparsh Shah. Uh, my stage name is Pure Rhythm. I'm here tonight at Global Jeans Tribute of Champions of Hope 2017 because I am being awarded as one of the Champions of Hope, as one of the advocates of my rare disease, which is osteogenesis imperfecta. It means that it's a genetic disorder that makes my bones really brittle. And so, I mean, I've never let that define me as a person and so I've always tried to keep on going and I guess baby that's why I'm here tonight. <laughs> I'm uh, John Crowley and now I'm officially known as uh, at least at Notre Dame as Megan's dad. Used to be at least be Megan Crowley now it's just Megan's dad uh, and back in New Jersey I guess I'm Patrick's dad too. Hi everyone, my name is Madison McLaughlin. I am a Global Genes Ambassador and I will be here tonight presenting and last night I hosted part one of the awards so I'm going to be giving a little recap to everyone tonight who wasn't able to join us last night. Taylor Kane, Taylor Kane, Rare Champion of Hope, Teen Advocacy. So my dad passed away of a rare genetic disease called adrenal leukodystrophy when I was five years old. Um, and before he passed away, he started a nonprofit called Run for ALD. So in elementary school, I started volunteering for my family's nonprofit. I would go around to my elementary school and tell my friends and peers to come. Um, then once I was in high school, um, we found out that there was uh, a newborn screening test for ALD was developed, um, which is good because if there is to be any effective treatment, it has to be before symptoms develop, so newborns need to find out early. So I testified in front of the New Jersey Senate and Assembly uh, to pass a newborn screening law, and they did in uh, my freshman year of high school. Um, two years ago, I started a group for uh, ALD carriers, and now I'm working on a nonprofit to um, educate and empower carriers of X-linked uh, genetic disease. Diseases. My name is Luke. Um, I'm part of We Carry Kevin, which is these guys back here. I directed the film, the documentary, based on the trip that we took. We backpacked through Europe for three weeks and we carried him in a backpack to places that were not accessible for his wheelchair. It was a great experience. You know, I think my favorite aspect of it was spending that time uh, with some of my best friends and uh, getting to have this kind of intimate adventure with them. Okay. My name is Stephanie Rice. I am a singer-songwriter and I'm excited to be performing tonight. I'm going to be doing an uh, arrangement of Every Breath You Take and two original songs of mine, including my newly released single, Let Me Go. Hi, my name is Jillian Escoto. I am emceeing tonight and I am from Valentine the Morning on 104.3 MyFM and I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2008. My name is Kari Luther Rosbeck. I'm president and CEO of the Tuberous Sclerosis Alliance and I'm receiving the Collaboration in Advocacy Award. I was very fortunate last night to receive my award from Jim O'Hare, our celebrity spokesperson for the Tuberous Sclerosis Alliance. Hi, my name is Maria Quaban, and I'm here tonight to present the Rare Champion of Hope Award uh, in Science for Dr. Anthony Klein. That's really my pleasure and honor to be here to do that. Angie Rowe, Global Genes. <laughs> I am here to be inspired by the amazing advocates and patients and their families that we work for all year long. Uh, my name is Claire Wineland and the award ceremony last, my, last night was very uh, humbling and I felt incredibly honored and it was amazing being in a room of people that were all doing the same thing in the world that I am. I'm Melissa Hogan and I'm the president of Project Alive, a Hunter Syndrome Research and Advocacy Foundation. We issued a six episode documentary series about Hunter Syndrome families and they've been received incredibly well. Our family is episode four in the series and some of the episodes have been picked up by film festivals, been Vimeo uh, staff picks, shorts of the week, so we're really excited about the awareness they're raising and the money they're raising toward a cure. My, uh, my name is Anne. Anne Lawler and I'm from Dublin, Ireland and I'm the chairperson of 22Q11 Ireland which is a support group for 
children and families affected by 22Q11 deletion syndrome. I always find these, these conferences wonderful because it's like coming home and meeting your family. Thank you. I'm Lale Welsh with the um, Neuromuscular Disease Foundation and this is Kim Mooney with Ultragenics. Hi. We're very proud to be here. We are very proud to be here. It's actually been a really good summit this year. It's a new location for us, but I've made an unbelievable new amount of contacts that I think are going to help push the needle forward for a lot of uh, neuromuscular diseases, particularly in gene therapy. So it's been very interesting. You should flip the camera on yourself and show everyone what you're wearing. It's amazing.